Good morning, Sion community. Welcome to Casual Thursday. It's Pastor Andy coming to you live from my office here at Sion Lutheran Church located in Lancaster, Minnesota. My wife this morning declared it was Casual Thursday as she threw on a t-shirt and a cover-up sweater, so I decided I'm going to wear my hat. Um, and in fact, I'm actually feeling far more productive this morning than I have in a while, and I think it's because of the hat. And I have determined that it's the little things that help keep us focused and motivated and moving forward. And so hopefully I can get a bunch done today so I don't have to do it next week because next week is Holy Week and it's busy and I, excuse me, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to all the worship, just not looking forward to all the, the anxiety around it, which is normal for pastors to feel this time of year. We're looking past Easter, so Holy Week is over, Easter is done, and then it's, I don't know, a few weeks until Pentecost, and then then it's summer. So anyways, this morning I'm, I'm running through all the things I need to get done for the sake of the community today, and then the few days next week that we have before Wednesday, which kicks off the formal Holy Week festivities, starting with the hot dish, Hoot Nanny, uh, the Monday, Thursday worship with First Communion and four fifth graders, and we have Good Friday worship, and then we breathe on Saturday, and then Sunday we, we worship twice for Easter. And it's just, it's a whirlwind. And what's, I kind of ranted about Holy Week and Easter the other day, about how it's disjointed and we push things into Palm Sunday and leave Holy Week out to dry. And so I'm I'm trying to be better about that. I'm trying to wrap my head around what am I going to do for Palm Sunday that sets it apart, that differentiates it from Holy Week. And I have ideas running through my head, but we'll see what comes. And so come Sunday, you'll, you'll just have to wait and see um, what I'm going to spring on you because <laughs> that's the best way to do things I've learned around here is just in the moment, do something. Um, and you react really well, which is, which is great. Uh, you are good sports about all the weird things that we've, we've done around here, which is awesome. And I, yeah, I don't know, folks. It's one of those days where I just, I just want to focus. You know, it's one of those days where it's like I have all this energy and I don't want to waste it. And I don't want to, I don't know, be idle too long. You ever have those days where it's like you just have all this energy, but you're not sure what to do with it? Uh, you know, it's just, it's frustrating. But I know I have a lot to do, and so I think what I might do is this. I'm going to welcome you, invite you, encourage you to come to worship on Sunday, which is Palm Sunday. Uh, it's also known as Passion Sunday. We'll have palm branches to wave and hosannas to sing. And then I'd like to invite you to our first ever Holy Week Hot Dish Hoot Nanny, uh, which is Wednesday at 5 o'clock. It is officially a hot dish cook-off for the sake of Family Fun Night. Uh, we will have Easter activities, projects, crafts, hot dishes, voting, prizes, you name it, it's going to be exciting. And then Monday, Thursday, I'd invite you to worship here at 6.30. Uh, we will have communion. We will celebrate First Communion with a group of fifth graders who have learned about communion over the past couple weeks. Uh, we will begin the final leg of the journey to the cross with Jesus on Monday, Thursday. We'll hear, we'll wash some, some hands or feet or something and like Jesus did at the Passover. And we will then invite you to Good Friday worship also here at 6.30, where we will officially get the crucifixion of our Lord. 
um, the death and burial. And then again on Sunday, next Sunday, uh, April 3rd, no, April, not the 3rd, not the 2nd, the 9th, April 9th, Easter Sunday, we will have a sunrise service here at 7 o'clock. We will have breakfast from 8 to 9.30, and then worship again like a full, robust uh, worship at 10 o'clock here at Sion Lutheran Church. And so if I said last night at the Lenten Midweeks, if you feel as if you haven't been to church enough, which isn't necessarily a thing, I'm not here to guilt you into coming to church, but if you're your spirit person, your soul person in there is like, you know, self, we haven't been to church enough. Now's the time to play catch up. We have uh, Wednesday, we have this Sunday, we have Wednesday, we have Thursday, we have Friday, and we have twice on Sunday the following week. And so there's ample time to come get your worship on. You're invited to everything we have going on, especially worship. Uh, there's new plans for summer being formulated there's we're always looking for new ideas new activities new ooh, new opportunities to serve you in the community and so please reach out leave a comment on the video facebook messenger email phone calls stop in you name it we'll get it um but we want to hear from you how are you how are you doing let us know um with all of that thrown at you Please, would you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for energy to get things accomplished. The, the excitement around new ideas and new means of connecting as a community. Give us the sustaining power to see these things through. It's not enough just to talk about it, but we have to be about it too. And sometimes that's hard. More often than not, we we get stuck in taking the first steps toward being about something new. And so just keep the spirit flowing through this place so that we might experience new life, new energies, new insights, so that we can grow and better assist the community in whatever they may be facing. Give us the strength and courage to persevere through this day into the days that come, knowing that you died and rose again for us, for each and every one of us. And we thank you for that, because we cannot do it ourselves. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And so, beloved children of God, remember you are blessed to be a blessing. And sometimes that blessing means you have to take the first step to being about something new. Until next time, I'll see you when I see you.